let's apply Duhamel's principle to solve the heat equation. So to solve the uh, Cauchy problem for the heat equation, so we'll have uh, ut minus kuxx equals 0 with uh, ux0 initial condition of phi x. And so this is going to be uh, on the entire line. OK, so step number one, solve the, um, the problem ut minus kuxx equals 0. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not, I, I, I wrote it wrong. We want to solve, this is to solve the non-homogeneous one. OK. So the first step, then, is to solve the homogeneous one. And OK, so that's again for any x and r. All right. And we've already done that. So from section 2.1, um, this solution, so the complementary solution, Uh, is given by integrating or convolving the heat kernel. So g x minus y t um, against our initial condition, right? So then uh, step two will be to solve the um, non-homogeneous equation with homogeneous boundary conditions. So this time we have a forcing function f of x t, but we take the boundary conditions to be homogeneous. OK, so then. And we do this one uh, using Duhamel's principle. So first we find the solution w tau of the um, homogeneous PDE initiated at time tau. So you think about waiting for a while until time tau, and then you give it the initial condition and let it go and see how heat evolves the solution forward in time. So if uh, W solves um, <coughs> this one here, where Wx0 is specified by fx0. Then from that, w tau is going to be the solution uh, for the heat equation where the value it's initiated with is the one specified at tau. And so just to compare these two, this first one is where we start at t equals 0 with initial condition fx0 versus this other one that I just wrote down where so we see that starting at um, t equals 0 with initial condition uh, fx tau 
gives w tau of t and starting at t equal tau with the same initial condition gives w t t minus tau okay so then by Duhamel's principle um, the solution is going to be the collection of all of these added together okay so then the last step then is to add these together so adding solutions um, from 1 and 2 together we see that the general form for u uh, is so we've got the complementary solution so this is the convolution of the heat kernel with our initial condition and then we've got um, let's see so we're going to take uh, <coughs> G or and convolve it at time T minus tau with the value of F the tau slice of F like so and then we're going to add all those together through the various time slices that we've passed through and so in this picture right here uh, this first guy here is our complementary solution and then um, this latter part here is our particular solution and when we add these together um, <coughs> uh, first off since the equation is uh, a linear equation we know that uh, it's going to satisfy the PDE no matter what um, the first part the complementary solution uh, when we put that into the PDE it will not at all uh, contribute to the forcing function because it'll spit out, it'll be equal to zero when we uh, put it into the uh, PDE. So we will just get the contribution of this one to the forcing function, which will give us our FXT part. And then uh, this one will not contribute to the initial condition. So when we evaluate it at um, t equals zero, we'll get zero. When we evaluate this one at t equals zero, we'll get phi. So then that will make sure that we satisfy. Um, the initial condition.